Hey guys, I am Teresa. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so down below. And, and remember guys, when you are watching this video, this is my opinion only. Nothing has been sponsored and I want you to be able to try it for yourself, but I'm just giving my personal opinions on these meals. Okay, here is the first meal that I had bought. This is honey chicken from P.F. Chang. It's a dinner for two and yes, it's Chinese food. So all you have to do is put it in a saucepan, heat it up and for 11 to 12 minutes and that is it, wait until it's hot. And I added some jasmine rice with it. So this is what it looks like when it is all cooked up. I have to give this an okay. It's not good, but it's not bad. Um, it tastes good. The chicken is a little tough for me. I like very soft chicken. So it's just maybe I overcooked it. I don't know. Um, but I don't know. I wouldn't buy it again. It was about $7 for just the chicken for the family of two, uh, or I'm sorry, meal for two. I would say it probably feeds a family of four if you have little kids, but definitely for, you know, this is one meal. And then I had less than this. I probably had half that chicken. The rice was excellent. It tasted just like uh, Chinese rice, but the chicken, it had no honey flavor whatsoever. It is honey chicken, but it had no honey flavor at all. So what I did was I added honey to it and then it made it taste better. So I would say it's okay. Worth a try. Maybe your taste buds likes it, but I didn't. Here is another quick lunch idea. I have um, canned diced new potatoes and I'm frying them up. First you, I put them in butter and let them sit for a few minutes. I'm also making some toast and some scrambled eggs for the kids, for all of us. Okay, here is my daughter's uh, dinner for breakfast, breakfast for dinner. She's just getting toast with butter and some eggs with cheese. Here is my husband's. What I did was took a huge tortilla, added some ham, egg with cheese and some of those potatoes and I'm going to wrap them up like a burrito and give them to him. And then here is mine. I made myself an egg sandwich with mayonnaise on it and some potatoes. Okay, here is another P.F. Chang's meal. It is beef and broccoli. And then I also have these cheese, cream cheese wontons with sweet chili sauce. So I will let you know how that goes. I think these, let's see, you put them in the oven, 425 for about 10 to 11 minutes. I am also making the jasmine rice with it, and I love this jasmine rice because it is the sticky consistency. I really like that with Chinese food. And Sophia and Ali are also getting this food. They're going to try the P.F. Chang's, but um, I made pizza just in case. Okay, the pizza and wontons are in the my uh, oven. And this is what you do with this. You just throw everything into, that's in the bag, into a pan. And you let it cook up and get the sauce nice and bubbly. And then I got my rice going. Okay guys, I'm going to show you how to make a fried bologna sandwich. I just have regular beef bologna with a red wax piece. You just take that off, just peel it off, super simple. And then what, what you're going to do, that was my cat, just stepped on him, is you're going to cut it in threes, but don't cut all the way through. Why they do this, I have no idea. I think it's so that way it doesn't bubble up in the middle. And then set your temperature at medium and let it fry up on one side and then turn it over. Okay, now you're going to flip them over. Actually, they're not brown enough yet. I'll go ahead and flip them. But once they're darker brown, you just barely want to fry them up in the pan. Okay. They're getting there. See how they're turning a little bit brown? That's what you want. Just like that one. Cook them a little bit further. 
Now you want to prepare your bread. I have mayonnaise and mustard on my husband's and I have just mayonnaise on mine. Then you're going to lay the bologna on top. Here's what it should look like. You want just a little bit of browning on all the sides and then put them on your... Okay, there you have it guys. Fried bologna sandwich. Here is the last and final dinner and I will quickly show you how I did this. Basically, it is cut up red potatoes, some fresh green beans, and some turkey sausage. I added olive oil, salt, pepper, and a little bit of Italian seasoning. oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe